good evening. Tonight on the 50 pound brain, we finally found something we can do in the house. We're gonna rebuild the windshield wipers system for the Triumph. Um, since it's right on the top underside of the dash, it needs to go in first. And to do that, it's gotta be working. Um, it is a completely different system than I've ever dealt with, with American cars or air-cooled VWs because it uses a cable instead of rods to actuate the windshield wipers. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's different. Um, so I figured I'd bring you along, so it's been cold, too cold to work on the car. And I've gotten quite a few questions. When am I gonna get another video out from my adoring fans? So we're gonna do this tonight because we can do it in the warmth of the house. And uh, if need be, and the landlord doesn't find out, we can wash our parts in the dishwasher. So let's get going. Okay, so I've already taken the motor off of the mount assembly here. And let me tell you something. If you ever have to change these grommets, this is not for the faint of heart. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, they will go in as the suppliers, Moss, or whoever sells them, you'll think they won't. And it was quite difficult to get them in, but they do go in. I was thinking about cutting them down, doing a bunch of different things, hogging the holes out in the mound a little bit. But ultimately, patience, uh, triumph, and persistence. And I did get them in. I did have to wet them down, put some soap on them, um, make sure that and I did it all with warm water just to make sure that it was that the rubber was pliable and uh, I did ram the little flat blade screwdriver into my hand quite a bit doing it but it did get done so that's just a little sidebar I've already taken this off like I said I've also taken the screws out of the lid to get this out and this is what we've got. This is what the, the gunky part is. Now it does work. I did get it working and I can show you on another motor uh, what all I had to do to get it working. But um, I wanna get all this nasty grease out of here. So it's just this snap ring. And I don't know how much you can see. Wish I could zoom you in. So just take that snap ring off or E-clip. E and that this nasty arm comes off and I want to get this gear I mean, look at this look at how much grease is on this thing tons so that's what I want to get off and I want to replace it with some new grease that's not 70 years old but the way I'm filming you I can't zoom you in but I want to be able to make sure you can see so I've got it on got the phone in selfie mode I'm doing this on my iPhone oh there's a ring down the bottom here too okay so this is what's good times right here Let me turn you around. Let me turn the phone around so I can zoom in better. Okay, I've had to basically reconfigure the whole studio here. Gotta have my tea. Drink my tea when we're doing working on British cars. So you can get in the full immersion of this gig. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get this snap ring off. Still casting nasty shadows. Mm. Oh, there we go. I think this is the little screwdriver that I rammed into my hand. 
numerous times putting those grommets on. Should have my blood all over it. Oh. It's got a, a fresh Vice Grip Garage Rebuild. Somebody rattle can this bad boy. Um, I'm probably going to wreck most of that paint job doing this. But that's okay. Okay, there's the ends. This is going to probably spin. Be nice if it walked off. Oh, and it's going to. Sweet. There we go. All right. This thing should pull out now. And it does. I need to change the lighting. I thought I had this all set up and it's not that great. Now let me get going. Is that better? It's a little better. Let's zoom in so. It's just what's going on over here that's keeping it from coming out. Like I said, I'm gonna wreck, end up wrecking this paint. Up that wire, I can fix it. I'm not worried about that. Let's see. I don't want to mess that up. It is a motion surface. I think it's our worm gear giving us problems because it should, the motor should just turn as we try and extract this gear. And it wouldn't be that hard to take the armature off these two screws. You can't even see, can you? These two screws. And this thing will come off. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see if this little thing will do it. Oh, yeah. I can talk about what I had to do to get these things running then, too. I suppose you could. 
I gotta change the lights. Hold on one second. It is literally night and day. Now, with this setup, you can see so much better. So yeah, I mean, if I was doing this completely right, I would just, I would unsolder that wire, be able to take this cap off. I probably, probably should. I mean, this wire is horrific. So, I'm gonna have to go get all the stuff to do it. I guess I might as well. While I'm here, so hold on. All right, we got our the flamethrower, Craftsman 100. This was my great grandfather's. Look at this bad boy. You don't get him that throws the heat like that so quick anymore. Let's see if we can do this and stay on camera. That's the problem. All right, let's see what we got. We go beautiful yeah baby mm, now it smells like I'm burning tires in here fantastic okay all right this makes it so much easier though all right let's pull this out this mess out of the way that wire comes all the way around to here. So I can change that with a um, with a Teflon wire. So I'm a little bit more heat tolerant. Yeah, this one's had it. Oh, skanky rubber. Insulation. He's fine. All right. <clears throat> It still doesn't come out, but it's gonna. Let's see, what do we need to do? Let's push it back down first. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I think it's just the uncleanliness of this edge right here. And the paint is what's giving us problems, so. I think what we're gonna do is just Yeah, it's got paint on it and it's such a tight fit through that grommet or uh, bushing and just scrape it with the, my knife. Good old Leatherman. I know you're thinking you're going to be front row seats to a visit to the ER. Hopefully not tonight. Although I'm only a couple blocks away. The funny thing is, Fred, the guy I got the car from, when he I brought him over to the house one day to see it after I painted it, and we drove by the hospital he says, 
Oh, that's handy. You're working on a British car. You're going to need that. I didn't know. I haven't used it yet, but we really haven't gotten full bore into it until it warms up a little bit. Let's try this. And I'm sure all you safety aficionados out there are much relieved now. I've switched to this. I've put a screwdriver through my hand more times than I put a cut myself with a knife. So don't take too much comfort in this. Let's see if that's enough to get her done. farther than we did before but it does not I don't want to wreck the bushing in this motor dragging this paint through it <sighs> well when you don't get what you want you get experience Getting experience tonight. I don't even know if you can see what's going on. Let's zoom in a little bit. We still got paint on this edge. I don't care about this, this isn't affecting us. But the paint on that right there, I think that's primer or something. That is what making this just a little bit too fat to come through. Um, we can try the mineral spirits on it. I don't really wanna hose this whole thing with mineral spirits, but I will. Well, all that skanky grease is now liquefied for me handling it. And now that I see that this, this gear is plastic, I don't know that I want to put it. I was going to put it in mineral spirits. I don't know what mineral spirits would do to it. It would be super fun as if it dissolved this gear. I'm off camera. Look at that. So... I also don't know what this brake clean is going to do to it. Safety solvent degreaser. Dissolves grease and oil. Well, hopefully it doesn't dissolve plastic. Because <laughs> my gear is plastic. What the tub I'm working in is plastic. Now I need a toothbrush, so I'm going to get a toothbrush. Okay. Yes, this is what I brush my teeth with. Because I'm a caveman. Maybe that's why you're a bachelor. <laughs> uh, no, it's not that. That's a clean machine right there. Throw that over there. I 
probably should go out into the garage and get some acetone. Make this place smell like a nail salon. But get this paint off. I think that's what I'm going to do. This thing's just super gross. He's much better. Yeah, it doesn't like being held upside down. All right. Okay. We are going to, I'm not going to put this in acetone. I'm going to put this in there. enough to cover it. Close that baby up before we all get high. Shake, shake, shake. That's set for a little bit. Mm, okay. More grossness. It's magic on this paint. Hmm. Yeah, it's softening it up. I just wonder if the acetone will mess with this electrical contact in the insulators or I'd throw it in the can with it. Well, you know what? We'll see because I've got two motors. So we're going to do some for the sake of knowledge. Reveille Ground Coffee is not a sponsor. Cheapest stuff at the commissary, but it's, I like it. He's good. It does the job. This stuff evaporates so fast. That's primer, if that's a previous coat of paint. But whatever it is, it's tough. Tougher than the stuff that's on there now. Tougher than the black. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this nasty arm. Put this over here. Beautiful. Yeah, this stuff doesn't evaporate, so I don't know how well I dig this. I don't know what's in it. I prefer brake cleaner over whatever this stuff is, but I found it in the garage the other day, so I might as well use it up. I definitely won't buy it again. I won't buy any. I didn't buy that one. I think it came with a car. So. If I keep going out of camera, it's because I can't see the screen. I got it off to the side. So you guys can see what's going on. But I can't really see what's going on. But it's okay. Oh, a brush. We need that. Where's our other brush? Hopefully it's still around somewhere. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so we gotta find it. It's in here somewhere. Take that out. Because it will not run without that brush. So, oh, there it is. Okay. Alrighty. Get those out of the tank. This nastiness we will definitely have to throw away outside tonight. So the snap ring holds the shaft in. Now I have to go get a soldering iron. Solder a new wire on that before this thing can go back together. We can see how this thing operates. So, let me get rid of this tub. Let me get all my parts out, I guess, would be the best thing to do. Because we don't really need it. I'm not doing a restoration of this motor. I want it to work. It might look a little junky. But you know what? It's going to work. This car is going to drive. We're going to jump stuff with it. I tell people when they ask me if I'm restoring this Triumph, it's like, new. No, I'm not restoring it. I'm making it drivable. Safely driven. Drivable. Driven. Drivenable. Yeah, that's not a word. You restore a car, you spend too much time and money on it, then you're afraid to drive it. And what good is that? I think I told the story. When I was at the Galaxy Show. Oh, that's my band-aid. Huh. All those boys trailered their cars there. I drove my Galaxy to the Galaxy Show. And they were they were they were shocked that I drove it from Utah to Branson, Missouri. Like, why? It's for driving. And it's a super comfy car to drive. And I was going to Florida from there. So. Come the end of the show, all their tow rigs showed up and their trailers. And I just jumped in the old gal and away we went. Went to my son's house in Rogers, Arkansas and then went and saw my, my brother Bobby in Round Rock, Texas. And then stopped at Fort Walton Beach. Stayed at Fred's daughter's house, and then Brooksville, Florida. Final destination. That's where the gal resides today. All right. 
Let me get rid of this tub and go find a soldering iron. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's try and change this wire. What we have to do... Zoom in. This wire right here. This red wire is the one that runs out and then gets all nasty once it comes back out of the housing. So we're going to change that. We're going to try at least. Okay, let's see if we're, this thing's hot enough yet. This is not the flamethrower of Grandpa's. this thing it's kind of warm Makes a little bit of noise. Make sure this is tight. Okay. Let's see if it does the smaller solder. The problem is, if it won't even melt this, it's not going to melt that big fat joint there inside this motor. We might have to get Grandpa's flamethrower out. see though all right let that thing just sit there and stew for a minute try to pull this wire out okay all right let's see if we can disconnect the red one without disconnecting the black one can even see in there this is the black one also goes to the same terminal so we're gonna see oh, come on I hate these cheap Chinese cords because they're so stiff especially if it's cold I mean not that it's that cold in this house but it's been out in the garage laughing at it. All right. That's what I was kind of afraid of. This thing was, I need to pony up for a better soldering station. That one's kind of cheap. The Craftsman Model 1 prototype. This bad boy is made for business. seconds in. It's already contributing to global warming. Yeah. yeah let's see. Bam. Look at that. You got us a nice chunk of 20 gauge Teflon here. So let's see if we can get this thing on here without desoldering our other wire. That would be super sweet.
for him. Done. I think the other wire is still attached. That's a win-win. Okay. Now we're gonna chop this off. Run this through here. Much better insulation. And tolerate the weather and the whatever hundreds of years. Unless it doesn't have to. It has to stay down there. I hope we can get that to do that. That might become an issue. Okay. Okay. We'll put this thing together now. And then I guess what should happen. And it doesn't look so great. I had to take the wire wheel to it to get all the paint off. There's still, so it's splotchy. That's okay. Yeah, we got to do this. There's our old wire. Okay, so from there, give or take, we can give ourselves some slack. Give ourselves a couple repairs. There we go. That'll do. One thing I will say, these are Home Depot purchased wire strippers. And they're used to dealing with Home Depot grade wire, not Teflon insulated. Teflon is a very tough insulation. So only, these will do I'll wait for a while until they get a little dull and then it, uh, doesn't want to cut it so great. But like I said, we'll make do. Make do. Go ahead and pin our wire. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Zoom in a little. Alright. Yeah, okay. I can't really see the phone. There we go. Mmm, that smells fantastic. All right. Put this in there. This is going to be where I need like four hands. Of solder in this. See, most of my solder's gone. I'm gonna put a big old ball of solder in there, get it built up. So that when we go to heat this wire, I should just be able to drop it down in it. It should be good to go. There we go. There we go. Much more better. All right, let's make sure all this is configured right. Part number out. That goes like that. This comes in. Goes in here like this. I'll give her the beans. Yeah, this is where a third hand would be super nice. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's be smart. Don't need to hold all that together. I might even be able to use it to my advantage. No, well, maybe not. All right. Come on. Yeah. 
it's going to be difficult. Go. Okay, so you've seen the motor disassembled. This is the the wiper shaft actuation assembly. And if you notice, it's got this tooth gear in it. I don't know if it doesn't get closer. You can see the teeth. And so this is what sticks up. This would be the 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 cowl. And this is what sticks up, and then you got the arm that goes on it. I don't know what these are from. I just had a box of these things. That doesn't even look like it goes on this car. Of course, <laughs> neither does this one. Oh, I, I guess, okay. So yeah, sh 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 just like that. So, oh, here we go. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And it has this plate, which grips flared tubes that come in and sit in these slots. And that's what this cable thing runs in. Now you're gonna see the cable here in a second. Um, Cause we have, to, we have to put it in the motor when we put it together. So this is an extra one. I've got the whole, you'll get to see the whole assembly once we mount the motor to it, to the tubing, the cable guide tubes. It's very interesting. It's versatile, I will say that. When you order the a new cable, it becomes super long and you cut it down for your application. Which car goes on? They used it on Triumph. Used it, I guess, on all their cars. Get some grease. See, they got that thing. I'm going to put some grease in that gap. things you should probably pay attention to. Oh, that's not even go there. Okay. That's fine. That means this came off by itself. Let's try to put my eye out here. Woohoo. There we go. Okay. You see where this is going yet? So you the cable. Cable hooks on here. And
see how this thing gets so nasty with grease. I don't know how long this ran, you know, once it was put in the car. I mean, this car is a 57. up on our wire we may have to go through this hole in fact it does wah, wah, wah. so I'm gonna have to desolder it the question is which end was harder to do I'll probably take it off of the brush and this end this way this whole thing could be assembled I didn't get rid of the solder iron. Look at that. Look how fast that is. It's beautiful.
So we can send this symbol, this whole drive thing. All right. We need that. Well, that can't go on. We can put this together. So this goes here. We need our brushes. to not have sausage fingers. Okay. Gotta make sure that the Concave, correct. There's one. We should probably go ahead and put this in. That's going to sit. Right, right on that. Ah, come on now. We're on the interweb. I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. All right. So, this goes in here. goes in here. That goes right there, and that goes right there. Thing's gonna come in here and knock it all out of whack. And then the last one goes in here. You gotta try and do this without stretching out that spring too much. Oh, come on now. Once again, no sausage fingers will be a big help. See if I can do this with these. These aren't exactly the most precise tools either. But it might work. Oh, let's actually do it with this. I hope you can see this because I'm not going to do it again. Okay, now this goes back on. Whoa, what happened? Uh, what's going on? Why isn't this going in now? Oh, 
this doesn't want to turn. There we go. See if we can feed this through. Okay, there's the hole. Okay. Okay. You want to keep that down low. Not on the down low. Just keep it down low. Keep away from the rotor in there. Beautiful. Okay. Still good. All right. Let me go get the cable. All right. So here's the cable. And here's my other. Let me show you how this goes through. You remember the tooth gear thing? Well, it goes through here. And that's what it does. So now we have to install this in here. Move this, try and keep it all together. Some grease in this trough because that's what it rides in Got our connecting rod arm. This bad boy. This is where it's gonna get super ugly. Too tight. This is a repro. This brass part is new. I ran that through the wrong hole. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I think I did. So well, we got another issue. Hmm. Oops. I hit you. I think I did. may have to go yep maybe maybe not I guess I may have to go and chuck this up in the lathe and turn a couple thou off of this end looking like that can you see what's going on here that is a super tight fit and I don't want to 
force it in because it's going to end up cracking this housing. It's got two flats that go that ride down in here, and then the tube setup has a, a nut that screws onto this and holds the whole thing together. Hmm, okay. Well, we may be done for tonight then. Makes me kind of sad. I know I'm gonna have to go over, over to the shop first thing in the morning and use my lathe. And uh, yeah, turn this down just a little bit, and then rechamfer it. Probably just as much as that chamfer is. That's how much I need to turn down. Yeah, maybe. Let me see. It may just be this thing's gut no. No, it's too thick. And I mean, this isn't a very precise casting anyway. So I could see why they would make them fat and you might have to go and adjust them. That's cool. Okay. Okay, I did do, decide to do one thing. I went ahead and soldered the wire off camera and put the end cap back on because that was, you saw the assembly of the brush holder. That's tougher. That's more science and art and whatever else. This was just bolting some stuff together. But I wanted you to see how this thing works for tonight. So this is how it, that's what it does. It pulls that cable back and forth and that is how it makes the windshield wipers go back and forth. So now you know, and no one's half the battle. Put the cable on here. Let it saw, that, saw my kitchen table in half. This should make a horrible noise. Let's see. Oh, not so bad. All right. Let's get this. Yeah, let's tighten these up. Yeah, tomorrow all I gotta do now is just turn down that bushing and show you the completed assembly. Oh. 
hold everything still. There we go. This thing works hard. Okay, so you've seen how the system works. I gotta go adjust this bushing. Where did it go? Tomorrow, I gotta chuck it up in the lathe. Take a couple thou off the top. Off of this. Make that, make this distance right here from this shoulder to this shoulder. Where's my, where's my scribe? A good pointer. Yeah. So from this edge to this edge right now is too thick. So I'm gonna just take a couple thousands off the top there. So it slides down in the assembly. And then uh, I can put all the tubing on. That'll, I mean, it's already assembled. I'll show it to you tomorrow or whenever I finish this video. But uh, I'll publish, I'll publish this tonight so you can you pretty much you see how the system works now but yes i know you want to see the full assembly to get closure i get it so i won't disappoint it's supposed to snow well it's got a chance of snow tomorrow so more than likely i'll be able to go over there turn this thing down the other thing i want to do while i'm doing lathe work is make the final spacer I need for the alternator mounting for the engine. And then the alternator can be tightened on or fully mounted and uh, the belt can be put on. And then we can see if the charging whirler, as Derek puts it, is making lightning. So we'll see. All right. Well, I hope this was uh, entertaining and educational and whatever else you're looking for when you come to this channel so uh thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and uh, leave comments below if you have questions comments whatever this is boring this is too long i want to ride in your car leave it down there thanks for watching